Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, Gary Dean Detailing, all of those wonderful things. So I've shot several videos using the demo panel. This is actually a, hood, a salvage yard hood that I got for my 99 Blazer that I'm now not going to use. So I figured what better to use it for than a demo panel for um, the official name is VersaCoat. VersaCoat. Okay. So we've got a couple things to go over today. I'm going to attempt to show you hand application so that you understand better why it's not working currently. We are still working on the formula to make it self-level better. But when you hand apply, the pro it's the same thing with sanding. When you push, you're getting different areas of, uh, different pressures in different areas when you're moving your applicator. Um, it also seems like most applicators, like microfiber, I don't have one around, but here's a towel. So microfiber has a nap and sometimes there's a thick, uh, a thin nap and a more aggressive nap. This towel actually happens to have uh, about a medium nap on both sides. But my point is those fibers, when they wipe across the panel, some of them are more full of the VersaCoat, less full. And when you push them, when you, when you wipe that out applicator across the surface of whatever you're trying to apply it to, it leaves indention lines and I can't figure out an applicator that doesn't leave those lines. In fact, the best applicator I've found is these uh, blue shop towels that I mentioned in the last video. These actually are fantastic. They're soft, they don't scratch. It's, these are awesome uh, for applying this stuff. The problem is it doesn't 100% self level, but if you're somebody who is looking for the absolute best finish, you can absolutely sand them out and you just polish it out and it's fine. So you can do hand application, but you will have to cut and buff, period. When you spray it, you have far more control and you will always get a better finish without having to touch it when you spray it. Um, the atomization on a spray gun once it's dialed in and you get your technique down, you can lay this stuff super flat. It will self-level on its own, no problem. But when you're putting in those stripes, it just doesn't work out very well. So that's why I'm recommending a spray-only application. The other issue with hand application is you cannot add the pearls, you cannot add the metallics, you cannot add all of the cool effects that you can add when you spray it just because you can't lay them down properly and evenly when you're rubbing across a panel. So that just doesn't work. So um, I'm gonna do a little demo of a hand application today and I'm gonna show you how to mix this stuff. Now I've already mentioned to you it's not complicated. One to one with acetone. That's it. Very, very easy to figure out. Um, so I order these little cups. You can get them at any paint supply store or Amazon or whatever. I actually order them. I have, a, I have an account with TCP uh, Global. And um, when I mix it up, I'll mix it up in these cups. Not necessarily this one, as this one is only, I mean, it reads 10 ounces. So it's probably... 14 ounces at the top, but you never want to go that high. So this is a 10 ounce cup. I'm not going to mix in this and I'm not going to use all that I mixed today. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to mix it up in this little container that I have. Um, one to one. I mean, you can see what's one part and one part. So that's kind of where we're at. So I use mine out of a gallon. And so I'm just gonna pour, can you see me? Yeah. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in this uh, cup thing. Not a ton. Um, so that's that. 
Put the lid back on this. All right, so. I really dig that green to blue color shift over there. That's awesome. I'm thinking about painting the truck in that, but I need to go a different direction. I want to, I'm actually, my O2S tan is black. And so you would typically put pearls and metal flake over a black base. And I mean, that's just how they will reflect better and look better on a black base. But I'm going to show you how you can tint this clear Versico black spray a couple of coats on to darken your lighter paint then spray the pearls and metallics then put a couple coats of clear on top and you're good to go so i'm going to show you all of that in future videos but i'm working it out right now i'm trying to try to give you a little bit at a time i had one 30 minute video and then another 12 minute video i'm gonna try to not make this one crazy long either so <clears throat> got a little bit there <coughs> excuse me allergies are horrible here in florida right now um acetone as you saw before so i'm basically just going to put it on a level surface right here level ish service uh surface and what i want to do is i want to just put in the same amount of acetone as I put in product. So I'm going to do that now. Should you eyeball it? Probably not. You should measure it, but I'm definitely just trying to, there we go. That's about 50, 50 right there. So we are going to put this to the side. and mix it up. So, um, all right, so it's got a little mixing stick here. So mix it up real good. Mix it up really, really good. So the whole thing about the reducer is when you spray it or when you put it down, the acetone, uh, the acetone uh, will basically evaporate out, leaving the product behind. Uh, thinning it actually helps it to um, spray better. So, all right, I feel comfortable. It looks all blended together to me. Feel like it's all mixed up. So now we've got our one-to-one -one mix, okay? So this is sprayable product right here. That's super funny. I guess I used that mixing stick when I shot the pearls because there's pearls in it now. Anyway, it doesn't matter for this demo. So <clears throat> one of the biggest benefits of this product is it is self annealing. What that means is traditional. So for example, let's take a regular ceramic coating. For example, you put a coat on the car, you, you get full cure on it, and then you want to put another coat on. That coating, that second coat of the coating, is it'll bond to the first layer, but there's dead space in between. It's microscopic, but it's there. It's a void in there. So you're bonding one layer to another layer. What makes this different is being self-annealing means once you put the first layer down, the second layers, any subsequent layers you put on after that, any of them, I don't care if you put two coats on or 57 coats, all of them will blend into the, the coat before it and become one with it. It's one thick coat instead of multiple thinner coats, if that makes sense. That gives you a thicker, stronger material uh, that is more abuse re resistant, basically. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use this shop towel. There's no real need. So this this hood hasn't been washed. It hasn't been wiped down with a bunch of stuff. In fact, I did the acid test and the alkaline test yesterday. So it's pretty clean. I'm going to make sure that I wipe off any dust. But what I want to do is show you guys the hand application. So, 
I've got my little applicator here and I'm going to put just the edge. You don't want it wet. See that? It's not dripping. So what we're going to do, we'll try to get you a better view. There you go. What we're going to do is we're going to apply this stuff right here. So you got a layer there. Yeah. All right, so I can see the lines in it. I'll try to bring you guys down where you can see it, but I got material on here. So we're gonna do, I did that section right there. We're gonna do another, let's see, that where's closer to you? right there. So I'm going to apply it right. No, I've already done that. Let's see. Yeah, I can see the lines. Um, let's do, let's do this area right here. This is the area that this whole corner, I actually, um, sanded and polished. So even when I try not to bear down, I still have those stupid lines. It's a big problem for me. I don't like it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You see all those lines in it? That's the problem right there. So this product requires two coats for even coverage. And I think some of that will go away with the second coat, but we gotta wait about 15 minutes for that to happen. But you can see the lines where I applied it here too. You can see it less here because I didn't sand. So you're like kind of looking through orange peel or whatever, but I can see the lines in this area here. You can see them. Look, right there, it's lines. My camera is struggling to stay in focus, but the lines are there. Those lines are obvious. Yeah, nobody wants that. It looks like garbage. So until I can figure that out, it's going to be spray only application. Can you apply it by hand? Yes. Um, the other thing is we're going to wait for that to dry and we'll put a second coat on there and then we'll see what that looks like. And then we're going to sand it real quick, polish it out and see if it removes them. And we'll go from there. All right. That needs 15 minutes. So I'm going to give it the time that it needs and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. It's been 15 minutes. This is all dry to the touch. I also applied it to another section right here. You see all those lines? You can see it much better now. It's just not good. It looks like shit. All right, so what I'm gonna do, put you, put you back on the tripod so that I can show you. Yeah, you can definitely see the lines right here. See that? Right there. All right, so I'm gonna take the product and the towel. We're gonna try to put another coat right on top of where we put the coat before. Okay, so I put it right on top. You can see lots of lines. That's the problem, these stupid lines. This is flat, there's no lines in that. I applied it right here too. I'm gonna give that an additional coat. Try to juice it up a little bit though. Yeah, it's got these lines in it. These stupid lines. I mean, you can't just go, I mean, does it, no, it doesn't, doesn't work like that. You can't just go in there and rub it in. It's not how this works, unfortunately. You get these stupid lines. Look, 
if you guys play around this stuff when you get it and figure it out, hey, I'll get, I'll incentivize you. I'll give you some product uh, if you figure it out. But this is the problem. It's the problem, not me. See that? Hand application is not good. It's just not good. It doesn't self-level. None of that. And then the other problem with this demo is, okay, so I let this cure. I grab the sandpaper or that same 2000 grit Merca disc that I used yesterday on the other portion and sand it out. The problem is, I don't know if I'm sanding this or what we put on yesterday or last week when I painted this panel. Um, See, that's the problem. Hand application just leaves those streaks. I don't know how else to do it. I mean, I have tried everything. I've tried microfiber, I've tried terry, I've tried thin nap, I've tried thick nap, I've tried everything, but hand application always leaves those. And it will not self-level. Um, hang tight, I'll bring you right back. We're gonna try to use the product straight and see if it will level better. All right, so, um, I'm gonna grab another towel and I'm going to fold it up. We're gonna use it the same way. Um, I did not do this section right here at all. So we're gonna see if it straight up will allow us to um, not get those lines. Let's, we shall see. All right, so this is the product straight. It will self-level better like this, but it's still, I mean, it's leaving more lines now. Cannot get it, and that's me. Okay, so press harder. Yeah, it's just not gonna work out. It will not level no matter what I tell it to do. It just get all dry and nasty. I mean, honestly, the diluted stuff works even better than the straight up stuff, but these lines are absolutely ridiculous. All right, it's dry to the touch. I'm gonna get the uh, sandpaper and the polisher out and then I'll bring you right back. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and Try to hand sand this a little bit, I think. Let's see what we can do. So we'll go up and down. Yeah, they're just super deep, man. This 2000 grit, you know, 2000 grit doesn't cut a lot. I mean, it's totally cutting them out totally cutting them out, but I don't know. I just don't know if it's worth it. I mean, it takes a lot of extra time to hand apply. And I don't know. Spraying is pretty easy with my direction. I'll give you all the answers. So it's not gonna be complicated, but you've gotta basically, I mean, I would machine sand this if you were gonna sand it. I would not do it by hand. Uh, hand sanding, Again, the tips of my fingers are, are biting in more than the surrounding area on the sandpaper. So uh, you're gonna get too much aggressive, uneven sanding by hand. That's why machine sanding is way better, especially with an interface pad. So what I'm showing you is, I'm totally getting these sanding marks out and not removing a lot of material. It would be way quicker if I got the uh, polisher out, but I don't want to do that. I would say that if you were going to attempt a hand application, I would put on at least four coats. And then, again, you're taking more time. We're all about making money here, right, guys? I mean, this is, you know, essentially why you'd want to apply this is to make some money or to protect your car. And if you can't do that, what's the point? Um, so as far as this situation goes, I totally have gotten out all the lines. I don't see any of them 
in this sanding. And generally, uh, when you're trying to sand out orange peel, or in this case, these lines, which are just like orange peel, it's just product that's, you know, has uh, peaks and valleys. But when you're doing that, oh, did you notice? I just applied this like 10 minutes ago and now I'm sanding it and it, it's working great. <laughs> no wait time guys, straight to business. So anyway, I'm just trying to show you why Okay, so the answer is you could hand apply this. I feel like it's gonna take way too much time. And I would say if you're a, a do-it-yourselfer at home and you wanna use this stuff to protect your vehicle because, well, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I would say that you can hand apply it, but then you've gotta cut and buff it like this. And I just feel like that's a lot of work. And I'm trying to do less work and make more money. Like, I feel like that's what everybody's after. But that's where we're at, guys. This is 2000 grit. I was able to knock out all those lines. And now I'm just trying to make it all even. And then uh, we'll go into polishing this section out real quick. But that's it. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna grab the polisher real quick. We got a little Adapt Smart Polish and a Buff and Shine orange pad. Let's see what we can do. I couldn't see the lines through the sanding and I thought they were gone, but they're not. They're still there. You gotta continue to sand. I mean, a 2000 grit would totally be good, but that disc I had been using for a while, but look, you still got lines. It's not good. So hand application is bad news. If you wanna try it, you absolutely could sand that out. I feel like it's too much work. It is not worth it to me to hand apply this stuff. Yes, you can do it. Straight up, it's super streaky and bad. It's all dry though. Yeah, spray is the way for me. Nobody wants their car to look like this when it can look like this. Well, should say this. <laughs> so that's why hand application doesn't work because it won't self level by hand because those indentions are ridiculous. I got to figure that part out. Uh, I know that some people are going to be turned off by the whole spray thing but that's just because they're chickens. Spray is awesome and not complicated. It's very easy. I explained it in the last video. That little compressor does a great job with the low volume, low pressure R500 gun. But yeah, lines are bad. I think I'm gonna mess with this. I'm gonna sand this until I get those lines out because I hate it. 
and I'm probably gonna machine sand all of this to get it flat and I'll bring you right back. All right, so this is, I'm gonna show you guys a testament to how hard this stuff is once it's cured. So it is a, how do I explain it? It cures, <laughs> it'll dry to the touch in 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your environment. It cures in three hours to 24 hours, depending on your environment. Environment. You can see right in this area here and up in here where I applied it really thick without thinning it or anything like that. But you can also see that those lines over there are still there and I definitely have lines over here where I applied it. So now this is gonna, I'm gonna explain to you now. Sorry. I'm gonna show you now how tough this stuff is. I went to a 1000 grit disc from that 50 or from that 2000 that's sitting over there. And we're gonna spill a little water down. This is the area right here that was super thick and heavy. Obviously you saw that, but let me show you this. This stuff, this stuff is not easy to cut. So when it's orange peel, it's far, far easier than these lines. It's just difficult. So look. not trying to come off. I can still feel this through the glove. Um, so it's just not easy to hand apply. So I'm going to say no bueno right now. Still going to work on it. If you guys figure it out, let me know. But uh, I will be doing a couple of trainings for this stuff. And this is also a testament to to how well this is going to protect whatever you put it on. It's strong, super strong, sandable, polishable, all of that, but it's still flexible, as you saw in the picture that I put in the last video. It's still flexible. It's like liquid paint protection film that had a superhero love child from a ceramic coating with uh, silicon carbide and um, a clear coat and PPF. I mean, it's just, it's so many awesome things in one. That's amazing. So it's super tough and these lines are just very difficult to get out. So that's my whole point. It can be done. You can hand apply it, but by the time you do that and get it flat looking nice, I could have done about 10 cars. It's not worth it. Don't be scared of spraying. It's okay. And the other cool thing is we're not spraying colors. You're going to spray pigmented clear or just straight up clear. If you don't want to deal with the pigments, the pearls, and the colors, and all of that, the metallic, if you don't want to deal with that, fine. This is amazing protection for auto boat, RV, motorcycle, if it's got a steering device or it sits outside, this shit should be on it. But what I want you guys to understand is I'm not trying to keep hand application from you. This particular product just doesn't lay down flat when you hand apply it. It just doesn't. Spray is the way to go. And I'm going to make spraying this stuff so easy for you. It doesn't make any sense not to do it. Um, That's it. It works well. It's durable. It's just not, not good for hand application.
that's it. So spraying this stuff is, is amazing. I'm actually doing some testing right now with a electric spray gun. In fact, there's the, uh, the Graco Ultra and the Ultra Max handheld uh, cordless, takes the DeWalt batteries. It's kind of pricey, so I ordered a really cheap one, uh, a cheap electric one uh, that's very similar in specs. And we're gonna see if this, actually I know it does because a couple of years ago when we were testing, uh, when I thought we had it almost done and we didn't and I had to work on it for another whole year and so here we are. It's way better than it was last year. Um, but when I was doing my testing, I tested it out and then the gun broke. Uh, so I couldn't do a ton of testing, but it sprayed really well with the electric spray gun uh, and the, I wanna say 1.2, tip that I had put in there. So I'm gonna be doing more testing with that. I mean, I ordered a $50 gun on Amazon, nothing fancy. Um, so we'll see if that works out, cause that'll be, if I can get that Graco cordless sprayer to work, it's gonna be awesome for boats. I mean, no compressor, no turbine machine, none of that needed, no cords, no hoses, nothing. Awesome. Um, and so that's the direction I'm going. I want to spray, 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 because it's amazing, amazing, amazing. Lays flat, looks good. You can add pearls, you can add metallics, all that stuff. That's the epitome of amazing for me. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, leave you with that. Check out detailjuice.com uh, detail for all your product needs. And uh, remember, March 1st is release date for all the new products, including VersaCoat. So if you need me, let me know. Check me out on Instagram. I'll put it right here, gary.dean.35. And my phone number is 813-846-4406. If you're interested in being an installer, reach out, let me know, and um, I'll keep you posted on all of that. This stuff releases and will be shipping as of March 1st, 2023. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.